Good morning, everyone. On this Tuesday in the 33rd week in Ordinary Time, we are continuing our reading from the book of Revelation. We're in chapter 3, verses 1 through 6, and then verses 14 through 22. And I might add here, we're not reading about the message to all the churches that John gave. Uh, just we're getting just, you know, some of them. So we have two today. I, John, heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church of Sardis, write this. The one who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars says this. I know your works, that you have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Be watchful and strengthen what is left, what is going to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember, then, how you accepted and heard, kept it, keep it, and repent. If you are not watchful, I will come like a thief, and you will never know at what hour I will come upon you. However, you have a few people in Sardis who have not spoiled their garments. They will walk with me, dressed in white, because they are worthy." The victor will thus be dressed in white and will never erase his name from the book of life, but will acknowledge his name in the presence of my Father and of his angels. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church in Laodicea, write this, The, am the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation, says this, I know your works. I know that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich and affluent and have no need of anything. And yet do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. I advise you, to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich in white garments to put on so that your shameful nakedness may not be exposed and buy anointment to smear on your eyes so that you may see. Those whom I love, I reprove and chasten. Be earnest, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will enter his house and dine with him and he with me. I will give the victor the right to sit with me on my throne as I myself first won the victory and sit with my father on his throne. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we have in today's reading two more churches. We had Ephesus yesterday, and today we have Sardis and Laodicea. So we have in Sardis, it is a problem of their garments no longer white. Now, typically for baptism, there is a white garment that is put on. That means we have been cleansed from all our sins. And if it's, well, no longer white, that means sin has taken its place and has spoiled the garment. So the important imperative on here is to not have a, a dirty garment. Obviously, getting rid of the sin, confessing that sin. And then we have from Laodicea, a sort of a, the lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, just lukewarm, going through it and assuming that they're rich, but in fact, being quite impoverished. And so the, the call, you know, to repent, turn back, allow the Spirit of God to, to have full reign in one's life. And, and it ends with that beautiful picture. In fact, there's a, a painter who once did it, you know, of Jesus standing at the door of one's heart, just knocking, ready to come in, ready to dine. Will we allow him to come in and dine with us? Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.
Bye for now.